hello. Today I'm making a more different video. Unlike the other videos, which are about games, stories, or mythology, this video is about a film. And this one surprises me about how much it takes from Norse mythology. The film is called Valhalla, or Valhalla in other countries. It is a Danish animated film from 1986. It is a loose adaptation on the myth of Thor's adventure into Utgard Loki's castle. The film is in the perspective of Thor's two obscure child servants Thalfi and Roskva. The film begins with how Thor got them as his servants, which isn't as happy as you might think. This film is also very hard to find on streaming services. At first, I thought it was on Prime Video, but when I went and looked, it wasn't there. But I did find an English dub on a website called Internet Archive, link will be in the description with you wanna watch it? And it's free. I'm gonna explain you the plot of the film, but not enough where it would spoil the film. The film begins with Thalfi and Roskva, and how they, and their family, were visited by Thor and Loki. And after a mishap, which I won't spoil, but if you know the myth, then you'll know, they became Thor's servants. They take them to Asgard, where they meet Sif, Odin and Mimir. I didn't expect Mimir to appear in a film, probably because he is very obscure to the average Thor movie viewer. But then Loki mentions that a character, who I think is an original character, named Quark, is following him. So, they decided, after Quark causes mischief and angered Thor, that they'll take him back to Jotunheim and to the castle of Utgard. And the rest is basically the same as the myth, but with some differences, but still the same, which is basically just challenges. They have Loki's eating challenge, Thalfi's racing challenge, Thor's drinking challenge, Thor's cat lifting challenge, and Thor's old woman fighting challenge. I decided to tell you because it is quite well known. In conclusion, this film is quite fun to watch, and I am surprised that it is obscure, which seems to be a thing with movies from foreign countries, except Nisferatu, he's quite popular here in America, or I should say Count Orlok because that is his actual name in the film. But Spongebob called him Nisferatu, so that is why we call him that. But this film is quite unknown, and I have to be honest, I first discovered this movie from a YouTube video that was recommended to me, and I first thought it was a fan animation based on the myth. Till I started looking more into it and discovered that this an actual film. But its obscurity doesn't mean it's unknown to everyone, as in Denmark, a man named Fenner Ahmed made a film called Valhalla The Legend of Thor, which is a darker remake of 80s Valhalla. I watched that film first because I was unaware that it was a remake. So, if you wanna watch a darker version of this kid's film, then watch that, it is on Peacock, the streaming service, but I think I heard that they're gonna give subscription prices, so I found it on YouTube, link will be in the description again. So watch this film if you haven't already, because I wish that it could be more popular because Thor films nowadays are about the Marvel Thor. No one seems to want to make a mythologically accurate Thor film, in America. It's highly unlikely that it will get popular from this video, but I just wanna tell you guys about it, because I found it very interesting. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time, cue the outro.